StadiumDB.com presents World Stadiums Under Construction, March 2024 Welcome! The latest report on stadium constructions from around the world is out and that means another exciting tour. What progress can we see on the construction sites compared to our last episodes? We will visit 17 locations on 5 continents today and we won't start our adventure with Argentina, as we have often done, but with the USA. New Highmark Stadium Capacity 62,000 Completion date 2026 Buffalo The new stadium will be built next to the Buffalo Bills' existing arena, Highmark Stadium. The facility from the outside will be keeping with the local architecture. Their 60,000-seat facility, located in Orchard Park, New York, is now ready for large-scale structural steelwork. This marks the completion of excavation work, seven months after the project broke ground in June 2023. Mass Monumental, capacity 84,567, completion date July 2024. Buenos Aires. In total, more than 55,000 folding seats complying with FIFA standards were installed, replacing those serving spectators since as far back as 1978. Regarding the lower stands, the security grill canopies were removed in the Sivori and Centenario sectors. All this was done to improve visibility for fans in the front rows of the popular stand. The stadium will eventually be covered from the outside in the club's colors. At the end of February, the venue was once again the temple of Argentine football, as Boca Juniors came to Monumental and the fierce match ended with a score of 1-1. Etihad Stadium, capacity 61,958, completion date 2026, Manchester. Behind the north stand of the stadium, the first large crane is already in place and can be seen from the south stand of Manchester City's home. Among other things, the expansion of the venue is linked to what Raoul de Vries, chief operating officer of the group that owns Manchester City, has pointed out, saying that the club needs to increase stadium revenues if they want to remain competitive in the world of football and being the top group when it comes to performance. Anfield, capacity 61,000, completion date 2024, Liverpool. Liverpool set a new league attendance record at Anfield when they took on Burnley, welcoming almost 60,000 fans. The previous league attendance record was 58,757, set in December 1949, when the team drew 2-2 with Chelsea. New seats in the Anfield Road stand have been made available as part of a phase reopening due to the development. Work on the stand was expected to be completed before the start of the season, but it has not been without delays. It is now expected to be completed by the end of March, when capacity will reach 61,000. Everton Stadium, capacity 52,888. Completion date July 2024, Liverpool. The first section of concrete terracing has been laid on the spectacular western side of Everton Stadium. The lower section was installed centrally on the terrace, which sits to the rear of the west stand and will eventually provide spectacular sweeping views out across the Mersey estuary. Work has begun to construct the second phase of the build, mirroring the work already advancing in the southern half. Around 130 tons of steelwork will be installed in the northern half next month, which will allow Lango Rock to pull the concrete floor slab on the upper deck and drop terracing units onto the rackets that stretch all along across the western terrace. Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, capacity 84,744, completion date early 2024, Madrid. The area around Santiago Bernabeu is still under construction. While the redevelopment of the new stadium is not yet complete, the City Council and the Community of Madrid have announced the start of work on building new car parks in the area and extending the metro station. One of the biggest novelties of the Santiago Bernabeu, apart from the roof and retractable pitch, is the video scoreboard that will circle the stadium 
offering fans a magnificent 360-degree perspective with the best LED lights. At this point, this part is almost complete. Spotify Camp No, capacity 105,053, completion date 2025, Barcelona. More than six months after the cranes entered the stadium, work is progressing at a good pace and the construction of the third stand structure is already underway. There are no setbacks so far, but there is still a lot of work to be done. Barca has a plan B if work at Camp Nou takes longer than necessary. The club is negotiating an extension to the Munjui lease despite the council's initial reluctance. The return to Camp Nou is set for November and both Barca and the city council are keeping their fingers crossed that this will happen. Koi Stadion, capacity 15,000, completion date 2024, Leewarden. Due to the construction of the new stadium, the last ever cup match was played in the current venue. Match of the year, said coach Hank de Jong. They lost, by the way. However, there is optimism among the fans. I think 99% of the fans are enthusiastic. It's fantastic that we are getting some news, but it's also terrible that we are leaving here. Gevis Stadium, capacity 24,950, completion date 2024, Bergamo. The view inside the facility has not changed much since the last few games. The large white tubular steel structure that will support the roof was completed a few days ago. In addition to the Morosini stand canopy, two long trusses will also be placed to support the lighting. Also, the large access ramps to the stadium have already been placed outside the new sector and will only finally see the light of day when the underground car park is completed. Before we move on, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to stay tuned for more interesting material. Stade Prince Moulet Abdella, capacity 69,500, completion date 2025, Rabat. In a bold move to boost the country's sporting infrastructure and prepare for the World Cup, Morocco has announced the allocation of a colossal budget of 530 billion centimes to renovate the sports complex. Local fans observing the works are praising the stadium for the fact that the stands will be located near the pitch, bringing fans closer to events during matches. Stade Ibn Battuta, capacity 88,000, completion date 2025, Tanga. The construction crew is removing the light poles, the old roof, and they intend to work on the new one, which will be fitted with solar panels. Once the roof work is complete, other external works will resume. Plans for the final appearance of the stadium change frequently. However, it may be the biggest stadium in Morocco for the World Cup. Will we see the semi-final being played here? Stade Amaroro, capacity 45,000. Completion date 2024, Kigali. The turf is ready. The green, yellow, blue stands in Rwanda's colors are ready, as is the canopy protecting them from rain. What remains is the finishing work and the infrastructure around the stadium. The Rwanda national team, currently ranked 133rd by FIFA, is due to play its 2026 World Cup qualifying match against Lesotho, already at Amaoro. This means that the venue will be at least conditionally approved on June the 10th. Egypt International Olympic City Stadium, capacity 93,440, completion date early 2024, new administrative capital. The stadium was ready to host the Egyptian national football team's training sessions in preparation for the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Côte d'Ivoire which began on the 13th of January. Facilities include a 93,440 capacity stadium, major and minor tennis courts, a swimming pool complex, an equestrian club, squash courts, handheld and archery ranges. Nasaraya Local Administration Stadium, capacity 17,000, completion date 2024, Nasaraya. Although it has been more than a year and a half since construction began, there is still a lot of work to be done. The Iraq Stadium is being built on the site of the old facility. 
Work is ongoing on both the exterior and interior. The outline of the original façade is beginning to become visible. The stadium is expected to be completed in mid-2024. The main contractor is Global Sport IQ, a Baghdad-based company. Kaitak Sports Park Main Stadium Capacity 50,000 Completion Date 2024 Hong Kong The stadium has stolen the hearts of fans. To some, it reminds Real Sociedad's Anoeta facility. The facade is very original and the area looks phenomenal in the urban setting in which it is located. The installation of the external panels has been completed, marking a milestone for the mega project. A fire broke out there recently, but no one was injured. Preliminary investigations suggest that the cause of the fire was a short circuit. Xiong'an Sports Center Stadium Capacity 30,001 Completion date 2024 Xiong'an In recent months, work has been done to complete the facade, placing elongated white panels there. Currently, the cranes continue to work inside the building, the snow has already disappeared from Xiong'an, so it can be hoped that work will proceed more quickly. Yellow River Sports Center Stadium Capacity 61,000 Completion date early 2025 Jinan The level of Chinese football is not very good, but each new stadium is more impressive than the one before. Also, the shots from Jinan look amazing. The stands seem to be established very close to the future pitch. The facility will be surrounded by an elevated promenade with four large entrances to each stand. This is the end of our journey to the ends of the world, where new stadiums are being built. Remember to like this video and leave a subscription, because there is more material ahead. See you there!